Nine days until the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 opens. The stars were out for the world premiere in London on Monday. And today they begin their takeover of Times Square. All the stars will be here, but it begins with the president. <laughs> president Snow, Donald Sutherland. Take a look. President Snow, it's Katniss. What an honor. I don't imagine you're calling to thank me for the roses. I never asked for this. Just wanted to save my sister and keep PETA alive. I told you what a fragile thing peace was. And still, like a child, you took pleasure in breaking it. It's the things we love most that destroy us. Oh, you are very scary in this movie. <laughs> I'm doing my job. In, in a very, very mm -hmm. creepy, delicious way. <laughs> in fact, Francis yeah. Lawrence, the director, said that um, you have been at sort of a nine in terms of evil, mm -hmm. and by the time we get through this movie and the next, that you are at an 11. How is that for you ratcheting it up? I think he's a really good guy. I really do. He's President a bureaucrat. Snow. Yeah, he's absolutely. Misunderstood. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Francis is a very good guy, but <laughs> President Snow, no, he's not misunderstood. He runs a runs a runs a totalitarian state. He's a, he's an oligarch, you know. We have them here. Yeah, true, true. Uh, yeah. in the film, uh, you you're head to head with Katniss, the one and only Jennifer Lawrence. Talk to us about the experience working with her on this, the third film installment. It's just been a continuum, the same from the very beginning. She's a genius, the child. She's a genius. She, she calls the truth from inside herself and delivers it. And that's why, you know, I mean, Suzanne Collins wrote a wonderful yep. series of books, but Jennifer was able to capture the truth of it and deliver it. It's fantastic. And in a recent interview, you said that you pretty much lobbied for the role of President Snow. I, I don't think that actually expresses it. I asked for it. Uh, but I didn't lobby. I mean, I, they, my agents sneak me scripts from time to time because I like to read them. And, uh, and they sent me this one, and I just wanted to be a part of it. I wanted to end my life being part of something that I thought would maybe catalyze and revolutionize young people because they have been so dormant. And, you know, this, this election, they, it was the lowest I mean, electro, uh, lowest voter representation in 72 years. Right. Young people have to get out. You have to get out and change things. You really do. And it's up to you. We've wrecked this world, and if you're going to fix it, you've got to do it now. And do you feel like you're in, in, in playing this character? Is that it? it I don't know. Does it move you <laughs> in, in, in some way that you will miss deeply what, as we move toward the last installment? You mean working with Jennifer, working with Francis, no, and we're becoming working with President Nina, Snow, Nina Jacobson, who said that reading this, these lines. this is a, a call to arms. Yeah, of course it uh, did, but I will, if I can just see young people catalyzed and going to the voting booths and, and having some kind of a revolutionary movement, not an armed revolutionary movement, but a revolutionary movement that will change things up. President Snow has spoken. So listen up, everybody. And the film is terrific. Donald Sutherland, thank you so much for oh, being pleasure. with thank us. You. Always a thank pleasure. You. Everybody, uh, The Hunger Games, Mockingjay Part 1, opens nationwide next Friday. That's November 21st. Thank you so much. Thank you.